Assalamu alaikum everyone. Dear student, I hope you are fine and doing well. So in last lecture, uh, I have just discussed the component of uh, key uh, of advanced encryption standard uh, with the help of one of very fundamental tool of cryptography, that is crypto tool. So uh, uh, today, uh, this is uh, our uh, seventh lecture of our online series. Dear student, uh, uh, so today I just explained simplified advanced encryption standard. Uh, its purpose is uh, just uh, to uh, uh, realize how your all steps in advanced encryption and uh, uh, algorithm of 128 bits uh, is working. So uh, um, let me elaborate all these steps of uh, advanced encryption standard with the help of simplified advanced encryption standard in which our plain text is of uh, 16 bit uh, and uh, our uh, key length uh, of uh, this encryption algorithm which i call saes is uh, 16 bit instead of 128 and uh, more or less it is the purpose of uh, today uh, is just uh, educational uh, um, uh, I mean to say how one can perform uh, with hand calculation uh, of all the operation involved in advanced encryption standard. So, uh, uh, dear student, um, it is easier for student to understand the structure of AES with the help of uh, simplified advanced encryption standard. It is more or less same uh, as the standard advanced encryption uh, algorithm, but the key length of the SAES is quite small as compared to uh, advanced encryption standard. So let us come up with the, the, the basic uh, of today lecture. Uh, we will discuss uh, advanced encryption standard, encryption and decryption mechanism, then key generation of uh, AES and then uh, AES encryption decryption separately. So, uh, uh, dear student, uh, the the professor Edward uh, from Santa Santa Clara University developed this uh, SAES for uh, educational purposes in 2003. So, uh, we have uh, just start the basic uh, uh, structure diagram of AES. This is one of the basic structure diagram of uh, AES and here you can see as I told you in my uh, uh, in initial uh, discussion that S uh, AES consists of 16 bit plain text and then uh, then 16 bit key so for first uh, round we need uh, uh, like uh, initial uh, uh, key which is consist of 8 bits in of each W0 and W1 and then uh, after expanding we will get another w2 w3 for first round and uh, that is basically based upon uh, this uh, initial key which is uh, consists of two sub block of eight bits and uh, then uh, we'll get w2 w3 and then uh, this is basically as a combined this is key for the first round and as a combinedly this is key for uh, second round so uh, here I, I must say that for this we have uh, need two w's and for that we also need two w's so uh, yeah, if you can look over here the first round we need uh, uh, naval substitution shift from mix column and then add round key initially the plain text is just uh, add up with round key in, in initial step and then after the adding uh, with the initial key with the plain text then we apply the output of this uh, uh, by exhorting this uh, key with the plain text we get this and then apply the sub by transformation on this output this and then uh, sub by transformation i mean so the nibble substitution that i mean to say uh, substitution boxes then mix shift row mix column and add round is same we apply the same step then second round and then we'll get half and then we'll apply the uh, uh, reverse procedure uh, from cipher and apply the in a reverse way we'll get back our plain text of one uh, 16 bits 
So dear student, this is more or less quite simple as compared to original 128-bit key uh, AES. So let us take one simple example of 16-bit uh, plain text. P is D728. I just uh, take hexa and convert it into a um, into a binary. And then I take 16-bit key, which is again in the hexa and convert it to bits. So my step, uh, first step is to generate keys for each ROM. Uh, so uh, dear student, uh, let us uh, start with uh, with the help of this basic uh, uh, scheme. So uh, initially I have 16 bit key, where uh, then I uh, convert this into a double knot or the double knot, then expand exp using a expansion, expansion uh, functions. And then we, I get W2 and W3. For then again, I use expanding key. Then I again you get W4 and W5. So, so here you can see over here we have to how we can get W0 and W1. So you have key of length 128 bit and split this into a two half. Uh, half bits that is eight bits consists of uh, w naught is consists of eight bits and w one is also consists of eight bits so uh, dear student this is our first step in this block diagram of key generation so here you can see expand the second step is expand key how to expand key that is this is you have w naught and w one so you just uh, use some g function and exhort this with uh, g this one and also exhort this with uh, W2 and then you will get W2 and W3. So in that case, W2 is exhort with the G and, uh, and W3 is again uh, exhort with uh, W4 and uh, W3, then you will get W5 and this I, I would like to say W4 is basically consist of Exhorting uh, W2 with output of G, and the G is uh, basically depend upon W2 and W3. So, dear student, and the what is G means? Uh, G means if you have W and this convert the uh, uh, output of W to two half, uh, half, uh, two half uh, blocks uh, of equal length, then uh, swap this. Uh, w naught is uh, from uh, left to right and uh, w one is from right to left. Then apply a substitution box. You will get another m one dash and not dash, and then XOR this with the uh, uh, round constant. You will get w dash. So in that way, this is basically the function g. This whole, so this whole is a function g. So dear student, let us. Uh, 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 understand uh, how to get uh, w, uh, w2 and w3 so you have w0 and w1 which is the basically the you have split your initial key into two half uh, half or uh, half uh, and each half is consists of eight bits so w2 is consists of w0 xor round constant exhaust sub by transformation rotation nibble of w1 so uh, rotation nibble i means to say if you have uh, like uh, uh, rotation nibble one means to say the block will be changed so you have w1 so this is block of four bits and this is again block of four bits so you have to place this block of four bits to first position and this block of Four bits to a second position, like uh, rotate nibble W1. That is the output of this one. If you apply rotate nibble to on this input, you will get this one. Sub by transformation, I mean to so say, dear student, uh, it take eight bits and apply uh, output will be eight bits. I mean to so say, uh, if you apply the sub by transformation on this one, sub by transformation on this one. Uh, zero one zero one. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Yeah, uh, this one. This is the output of this one. Zero one zero one. Uh, double one double one. So the first uh, uh, element one zero zero one. 
zero one and then zero one this one so you will get one so the uh, binary of one is uh, triple one one so then uh, double one double one so double one first two bit tell you the row and second uh, two bit will tell you column so double one double one you will get seven the binary of seven is zero uh, triple one so ultimately sub by transformation means to so say this uh, this one so round constant for first round is one uh, double zero 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 and for second round constant for second this will be zero one zero 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 and for third one zero zero one double zero uh zero zero uh, up to five zero for second row uh for, sorry for third row so dear student in that way uh, you can see over here how to get uh w2 and w3 so w2 is consists of w naught xor round constant this one then the sub by transformation of rotate uh, rotation rotation of nibble uh, uh, of w1 so rotation of nibble i i just get this uh, um, output and that's uh, after applying uh, the output of uh, rotation nibble uh, apply the sub by transformation of this output i get this one so the result of uh, the whole this expression is uh, uh, place over here so you just exhort this uh, this way the sorry exhort this with the round constant and then exhort this with w naught this one so ultimately you will get w2 so in a second uh, this one uh, i just uh, take w naught round constant and this the uh, sub by transformation rotation rotate nickel one the output the, of this is placed in uh, 10 uh, slide like this one this one so here you can see we exhort all this and we get uh, key for uh, first round uh, uh, basically world these are world w naught w1 w2 w3 w4 and w5 these are all world we call it world so uh, dear student ultimately the uh, the uh, simplification of this step will get w2 or w3 is uh, 3 is w2 xor w1 will get this one and w3 is like this so ultimately w4 is based on w3 3 and w4 then we will apply the same procedure as we have applied in slide number uh, 10 and 11 we will get w4 and w5 so the if, uh, initial key is consists of w0 and wn which is uh, our initial key for uh, uh, first round, we have uh, W2 and W3. So this is our initial key, this one. And this is the whole is a key expansion. Through, uh, we have K0, uh, for first round we have K1, for second round we have K2. So uh, this K1 is uh, W0 into W2, that is this one, and W4 and W5. Each round uh, key is consists of eight bits. So dear student, uh, if you can look over here, uh these are we have uh, initial round and for this we have uh, two keys and for again for this second round we have again two keys so uh, uh, we assume that we have of the plain text of 16 bits and we have initial key is one zero 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 four uh, key uh, for first round we have generated w2 w3 as in our previous slide and for uh, round uh, for second round we have uh, 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 generate key of 8 uh, 16 uh, bit uh, which is uh, consists of w4 and w5 uh, five, which we have created in uh, our key generation step in previous slides so dear student uh, let us uh, uh, take uh, first uh, steps which is add round key in plain text add round key in plain text if you can see over here uh, first step add round key so uh, this is your plain text and this is our initial key so you have to add it with plain text uh, plain text you will get this uh, 
uh, or not. This is after the uh, adding round key W naught. This is consists of W naught and W one. This key. So you just add this with uh, this one, and uh, this is a first step. We call it add round key. This is add round key after uh, adding a uh, round key K naught with uh, plain text. Initially, we will get this output. So, dear student, uh, our next step is the sub byte transformation shift for mixed column and add round key internal structure of each round. So, uh, the internal structure of each round is consists of sub byte transformation shift for mixed column and add round key. Look over here, this is a just a substitution box transformation. So, for first round, sub byte transformation. So, uh, after the output of this step is this one, one double zero, double one zero one, double one zero one, double one zero one. So I apply sub by transformation. So this one. So I have used this uh, substitution box. If you can see one zero zero one, one zero tell you row and zero one tell you column. Uh, first two bit tell you about row and second two bit tell you about column. So uh, one zero, and zero one this which is two and the binary of two is uh, zero zero one zero then uh, double one zero one uh, double one zero one which is e the binary of e is uh, uh, triple one zero and then uh, uh, here you can see double one zero one uh, then double one zero one once again we get e so this is again the binary of E, then double one zero one, zero one one row and zero one column, which is again E, you will get this one. So uh, in a shift row, swapping the position just, in a shift row, uh, I need to say, just swap the position of uh, your block. Like uh, in there to you, second is placed with four and fourth block is placed with four, uh, second. So the fourth block is uh, double one zero, and uh, this one is uh, double one zero. So you just uh, place uh, replace the position of second nibble with four nibble. So you will get ultimately these output. So dear student, uh, this is shift row substitution uh, substitution nibble substitution and shift row. So mixed column, I mean to say, I take two by two. So uh, dear student, if you can. Uh, place this uh, into a state so the first state will be this four bit second state will be again four bit and third bit uh, third state is again four bit and fourth is fourth state it again consists of four bits if you can see zero zero has four uh, uh, bits then zero one is again consists of four bits and then z one zero is again consists of four bit and s one one is again consists of four bits so you have to take the, the this is just a uh, two element and this is again two element in term of binary. So you have to multiply this with two by two matrices each state and you will get another state and you call it s dash zero zero s dash one one. So let me explain this with the help of uh, one example. So you have one uh, uh, table which is uh, uh, one two three four up to sixteen and this I just take two four nine. It can be exp uh, extended, uh, pro exp uh, it can be start from one, two, three, four, up to F. But uh, here you can see, since we are discussing uh, each and every block is of consisting of four bits that take four bits. So uh, in, in each and every row of this uh, matrix uh, column, uh, mixed column table is uh, from zero to uh, 15 or uh, 0 to uh, uh, 15 say and this is basically consists of uh, 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 fundamentally uh, basically the uh, mix uh, column table so dear student if you can look over here the mix column of this is uh, if you can multiply this this is initial state this is first second uh, second uh, this is a state uh, matrix this is the initial uh, first element of this state. This is second element. This is third element of state. This is fourth element. So you just multiply it with two by two matrix. Ultimately, uh, you will get these uh, matrices like uh, 
this is binary of 2 and this is binary of e and this is binary of again e and this is again binary of e so uh, if i just multiply this uh, if you can see over here, 2 cross 1 2 cross 1 you will get 2 so e cross 1 so uh, if you can look over here uh, 2 cross 4 so 2 cross 4 you will get 8 so in that case you will get 8 that is 2 cross 4 you will get 8 then you just do uh, exhort the i mean so say you just convert 2 into binary and uh, d again into binary so a four bit binary is added into four bit binary ultimately dear student you will get two by two matrix of uh, the form like this so you just uh, this is a two dimensional array so you have to put it in, in one dimensional array this is one one this is second element this third element of first dimensional array and this is fourth element of one dimensional array so dear student uh, for a uh, so first round your key is uh, this one which we have generated in uh, key generation algorithm so uh, this is round uh, uh, like uh, first round this is key one XOR mixed column shift for sub by trans uh, we have calculated all these in our previous steps so we just XOR them and we will ultimately get our result so this is uh, our uh, one of the uh, uh, it's, uh, basically the for first round how after which uh, like uh, mixing column and then uh, here you can see mix after a shift from mix column we have to add round key for add round key of first uh, uh, round so the first round key is this one so we have uh, ultimately add the round key this one this one this we have add the round key with this one so ultimately we will get the result of first round in similarly fashion uh, if you can apply the uh, the whole uh, this, uh, steps uh, which we have performed in our previous slide so you will get uh, this uh, the same result uh, the uh, the result as uh, you perform the same operation as we have performed in our previous slide so you will get r2 the output of uh, second round the after second round the cipher text will be of the form double zero one zero zero one double zero double one one zero double one zero zero in that case dear student the the you can see over here we have performed all these steps which are basically the fundamental steps involved in Mm, standard advanced encryption standard of 128 bits but uh, we have converted uh, 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 128 bits into a 16 bits plain text in order to understand uh, the internal uh, structure of AES with a very small example uh, for educational purposes so uh, this is the decryption procedure and I left this decryption algorithm as an exercise. So you have to solve this uh, at your home and uh, uh, keep uh, one thing in your mind. In uh, each and everything will be uh, applied in a reverse order uh, in order to get back your plain text. So uh, thank you all and please stay at home. May Allah bless you all. If you have any question, uh, you can ask uh, uh, these questions. Uh, I will definitely answer your questions and queries. Uh, till then, Allah Hafiz. May Allah bless you all.